everyone welcome back to my channel as you saw at the beginning of the video today we're doing a dragon ball super drawing yeah <laughs> i'm going off the manga it's gonna be vegeta's new form and this was recommended by my partner to draw and i will be doing one character design or anime character no i don't want to say anime character because i want to do disney characters um cartoon like phineas and ferb or something uh, so just a character that you like make sure to comment below and the comment that gets most the likes is most the likes <laughs> the comment that gets the most likes there we go uh, is the one I'll draw next. For this uh, drawing I used uh, Copic marker papers because I wanted to use the markers. I haven't been I haven't used them for so long. I have forgot how to use it. I mess up so much in this video. Spoilers. <laughs> so uh, I done it on the marker paper and the markers I'm using are the Uhuhu where well, you say it, the hoo markers and these are um, the colours I've already swatched out so at the beginning as you can see I don't have a mint green and I decided to go for BG4 which is blue <laughs> I do know it's blue and it's supposed to be green but what I was thinking is if I put the BG4 down and mix it with a green either a green marker or green pencil because I was gonna go over it with pencil color pencils I can get it to a minty color that I wanted because I didn't want to put green down because you can't really it's, it, it wouldn't look right <laughs> um, so I started just um, putting the markers down straight away as you can see <laughs> I am using the wrong side of the marker because I totally forgot that these markers have a brush end <laughs> so I am using the wrong side like an idiot don't worry really I figure it out in a bit and I use the brush bit but um, the markers are very um, words. <laughs> words are hard. Um, it's very very early morning, and I am half asleep, so that's why I can't talk properly. Oh my god! Um, uh, the markers are not blending well on the paper, and that is because you need to do more than one coat. But I don't do that, so I leave it patchy as hell. <laughs> the marker uh, paper wasn't really good. I know it's supposed to be Copic marker paper. Maybe it's the marker, maybe it's just me. But look how patchy it is. It looks like a little kid drew. <laughs> I was scared to go over it again because the paper looked like it was gonna rip. So I just go over it with pencil and fix it after. But I don't go over it with marker again. So this part of it I went over with a different colour but it does get rid of the patchiness a little bit. So what can we talk about? Okay, the characters. This character, as I said, was chosen by my partner who is the biggest Dragon Ball Dragon Ball Super fan. <laughs> and uh, I have watched the Dragon Ball Z animation manga. The animation? Yes, I've watched all of that. I haven't got to Dragon Ball Super yet. I keep putting it off. But I need to watch it now. But um, this character, they have just announced it on the manga. Um, I got these, um, I drew the sketch from the 
uh, minders themselves. So I just uh, combined the pictures together and then the backgrounds I took off another section of the manga because I had to look up um, what is his name? It's a serial something. Uh, now serial is the planet's name and his name is Oh my god, my brain is not working today. <laughs> she says today. Usually not working, I'm half asleep. Gro gron gronla? Gronla? I don't know. Hold on, it will come to me. Gronla gronla. No, I am not searching, searching it on my phone. This, this is not what you're hearing right now. Dragon Ball fan, please don't come for me. Ah, sorry. Okay, so here I'm going in with the colored pencils. I started out going using the Arteza pencil because I have a bigger set. I think I have a 120 uh, or 140 set. But um, I I. <laughs> I still couldn't find that goddamn minty blue color. <laughs> minty green. Minty bluey green color. But um, I found it on my Prisma set. It was a dark minty green color which I liked. And I put it all over the dark bits of the hair and kind of lightly went over the highlights from the hair. And also, in this drawing, I don't use a pen, I don't outline it. And this idea I got from uh, someone I watch on YouTube who uses the pencils, the colored pencils to do the outline. So she just goes over um, the lines, she's just pushing the pencil harder and making darker lines. With the same color, she used to color that section so uh, the hairs I just use the minty blue color to outline it and the scarf I use the gray pencil which I thought it gave it a nice effect I'm not sure if you guys will like this or would you prefer me to use um, a pen next time for the next drawing I don't mind using a pen, but sometimes, sometimes, <laughs> when you use a pen and you make a mistake, it just hurts me so much. <laughs> it feels like someone just stabs me in the heart. It hurts so much when you just mess up and you can't, like, you're halfway done with the line drawing and you mess up. It just hurts so much. But with this pencil, it's so easy, you just rub it out. <laughs> um, so yeah, I found, I found it so much easier and it was so um, less stressful. <laughs> Not that drawing is stressful for me, it is sometimes. The, line, the lining is a bit stressful, like I have to hold my breath <laughs> when I do a big line, if I'm doing like a big straight line. But... Um, yeah, using pencils, it's it's so fun. I do suggest everyone does this at least once. Give it a try. Tell me what you think. I enjoyed it a lot. And here I'm going 
to Vegeta now. And for the flames, is it flames or like the purpley power thing that's coming out of him? Um, I went in straight with the pencils. I didn't use the marker. So I outlined it with the pink. Or the, um, the sketch I done was with a pink pencil. So it was very light and I was, uh, as you put your hand on it, it kind of smudges it away. So it was like kind of going away. So I had to try and find where everything was. So I kind of outlined it lightly with a light pink. And then I found this lovely pinky, purpley color that I really liked. And I outlined everything with that. And um, I wasn't sure because some of the illustrations I saw online that people had um, made um, because the colored version of this is not out so it's just fan art and most people are using pinky more pinky colors for this but um, my partner was saying that um, this is inspired by this, this power is um, oh my god um, trying to talk I have, I have said um I say um when I'm recording these videos so many times if this was a drinking game everyone would be pissed at the end of every video <laughs> so um it's supposed to be god of destruction power which is purple more purple than pink so I started out with doing a lot of pink but I do go back over it with more purpley colors which i think does look much better and less girly so um here this is very interesting i put pencil down here and i, I accidentally went over the pink pencils and the marker blended all the pencils and it looked amazing i love this effect i have never put pencil down and put marker over it this is <laughs> This was like a revolution for me. I was like, oh my god, you can do that? So <laughs> this is what I do for the rest of the whole thing. So I put the pencil down first and then go over it with the, uh, with the marker. So which just blends the whole pencil in and you get such a nice effect. Well, I think anyway. Um, you do um, get a little bit of a texture but I like the texture so it did work for me um, and here you can see I outlined everything again with a purpley color and um, <laughs> I'd have better cut that piece this is going um <laughs> Let's meditate for like five minutes while I figure out what to talk about next. The last video I did, um, I just I just talked at the beginning and then I decided to put music for the rest of the video. But I don't like that. Like when I watch art videos, I like when people just talk through the whole video. But I have no idea <laughs> where they find things to talk about. It's so hard. Like, <laughs> if I want to talk about the art I'm drawing, it'd just be me saying yes, and now I'm using a marker, yes, and now I'm using a pencil, and I'm going over it with a marker, and I'm using a pencil. <laughs> so boring! What do I talk about? Um, <laughs> M again, take a drink. Uh, <laughs> oh my god! Oh no, stop saying that. Uh, this part I have to talk about actually. I went um, for the trousers. I did a purple, I did a purple um, solid line with the pencil. It looked great. But then I decided to go over it with a dark as bluey purpley color marker. And it was so dark that the highlights looked weird because he has like little highlights and I tried blending it, blending 
making the highlights darker so we all blend together kind of. If I stopped here, it would have been perfect. It looks alright. This is acceptable to me. But no, she decides to put more on. I put more marker on, I had more pens. <laughs> At the end, the paper was like, what the hell are you doing? Because it's marker paper and it doesn't absorb anything, so it was just built in this thick ass layer on top of it. After this marker, I put more pencil and it was just um, making, it was basically peeling off the marker, like little dusts and shit was coming out of it. It was, it was a whole mess. I should have stopped after um, I made the pencils darker, I made the highlights darker. It was fine. I don't know why I keep messing with it. I go over it and over it and over it again and it just, it was like making me so stressed. I was like, oh, I got to this part and of course I mess it up. But at the end, <laughs> when you look at it from afar, <laughs> and you can't see the texture and stuff that I've made. It's fine. From afar. If you can hear my dog <laughs> in the background, I'm so sorry. She's playing with the other one and she likes growling while she plays for some reason. If you have watched me on my any of my streams on Twitch, you are very familiar with her noise. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Doesn't even sound like a dog. Uh, yes, I'm talking about you. <laughs> Just looking at me. Ah, <laughs> oh, so funny. And if you can't hear it, <laughs> well then, hopefully I'll cut this part of the voiceover out. <laughs> Just making dark noises. My mouth is so dry, hold on. Ah, oh, I have to talk 15 minutes straight. Okay, now she does. <laughs> I've watched so many people do different angles while they draw. It's so hard. I always forget, like I get into the drawing so much that I forget, oh, I was gonna move the camera. <laughs> and it's such an inconvenience as well because my camera is like, well, basically the thing that holds my camera up. It's so hard to move and I have to take the whole thing off, move it and then put it back. <laughs> Doing that is so long for me. I uh, just after I move the camera, I don't, I don't even. I'm like, what was I even doing? I don't even want to draw no. <laughs> oh my god! Look, I'm going over the trousers bit again. L you can see, like this is a close-up of it. You can see the texture I have made on the paper. It looks so bad. But yeah, here I I start adding more purple because it was too pink, it didn't look right and I had the purple and it looks so much better I think tell me if you think that it should have, it should be um, more pink than purple what, what, what do you guys think the power of destruction color is and here I add a pink I had a pink uh, glowy effect around him. So it's like, oh, he's powering up. <laughs> I think it came cool. It came out good. Um, the pink power blends in with the background good. And it makes um, the whole thing pop a little bit more. It makes him stand out because I wanted him to be the focal point of the drawing, not the other character. Grolona <laughs> Is that how you say it? I forgot again Hold on, let me look at it again Granola Granola That's it Let's see I knew what it was <laughs> Here I go doing the background So this planet is What I gathered from looking 
around on the comic trying to find it. It's called when the planet is called Zero, and it's basically like Earth, but much better because it looks very green. And there's loads of trees and mountains and stuff. And I think there is a some sort of human civil civilization there as well. So yeah, basically like Earth, but we haven't fucked it up yet. <laughs> And underneath um, Vegeta, I do like a little, um, like when a comic hits on the floor or something like that, I was thinking. It's what I saw, and it's not, I haven't come up with this, this is what it looked like on the manga. And is this the end? No. Um, <laughs> she adds more. I go over... Um, his hair again because it was just uh, too dull, the outline wasn't dark enough. So I outlined that and I add a white outline around Vegeta to make it look like he's glowing even more. I think I went a bit over the top with the white outline though. So I outlined all of him and then I outlined some of the pink glowy power thing and then the hand that's over his belly I kind of outlined that but that was too much I shouldn't have done that I think that kind of messes up messes it messes it messes up the drawing English <laughs> it messes it up a little bit but it's not too bad I'm happy with it and here I give it a, I give his earring a little bling as well. <laughs> Up close shots, boom boom boom. Tell me what you guys think. Make sure to comment and let me know who you want me to draw next. And the comment that gets most the likes. Yeah, that's my dog agreeing with me. Don't forget to comment. <laughs> the comment that gets most the likes is the character I'll draw next. Hopefully it's a business, Disney princess because I really want to draw one now. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, put the damn bell on. Love you guys. Have a lovely day. Bye!